Look at this. In 2011, a mm. huge earthquake started here off the coast of Japan, and no one saw it coming. This was a mega thrust event, essentially the worst case scenario. Though nuclear plants have automatic emergency shutdown systems. If shaking passes a threshold, the reactor shuts itself down within seconds which is what happened. It caused a 40 meter tall tsunami and the meltdown of the Fukushima nuclear plant. The tsunami caused a station blackout, flooding the backup diesel generators and the switch gear. The reactor didn't melt down because of shaking. It's because the cooling system lost power. Every nuclear plant is designed for ground motion greater than what would cause structural failure. But land-based earthquake detectors could only detect the first shockwaves. They couldn't tell the magnitude of the earthquake or the tsunami. Yes, they detect the fast, low-amplitude P waves, but the destructive energy comes later with the S waves, which is why ocean floor sensors are critical. And nuclear plants have seismic monitoring. Which is why, just months later, Japan started building this. A network of cables connecting 150 detectors, all to cover this. The yes. subduction zone, where tectonic plates meet and earthquakes start to happen, letting them detect much smaller changes almost instantly. So she's describing SNET, a seafloor observation network. It closes the gap between tectonic movement and human detection. The same philosophy behind reactor emergency shutdown system. Because each detector is equipped with a bunch of sensors, some that detect a wide range of ground motion, and some that detect the acceleration of the ocean floor. Both the P and the S waves. And some that detect the pressure of waves overhead. Just like in a nuclear plant, you have neutron detectors, thermocouples, and pressure transmitters. All to to detect different aspects. They just finished adding this final piece, along where these two tectonic plates meet, nice. creating one of the most advanced earthquake detection systems in the world, increasing warning times by 20 seconds for earthquakes and 20 minutes for tsunami. 20 seconds is huge. A reactor can emergency shut down, isolation valves can close, emergency power systems can spin up, and reactor operators can already look at post-trip diagnostics before the hardest shaking arrives. And the 20 minute timeline gives the plant staff time to stage everything. Enough time to divert incoming planes and trains and boats and saving lives. Yes, a great addition to defense in depth.